<laughs> man, <laughs> if all my jokes were good jokes <laughs> in the afterlife, I'd kill myself right now. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, just so I could have good jokes. All the time. That's how committed I am to jokes. It's ghost Dang. heaven. I'm a jokeman. <laughs> I'm a ghosty jokeman. Uh, is Guys, that this uh, cough syrup fucked me up. proud jacuzzi crew yeah. <laughs> we're a podcast that does would you rathers and other fun things my name's dane my name's brian i'm jimmy and joining us again for a hat trick performance we have a tea kettle Woo, i'm a tea kettle <laughs> was that your whistle <laughs> <laughs> oh somebody get that off the burner oh no that tea is piping oh, hot oh man where's where's my where's the, the oven mitt oh dear I blew it <laughs> I blew it <laughs> well done I'm just gonna done. milk that for all it's worth good as long as I can as long as you have a catchphrase you might as well use it true yeah um so how was everybody's weeks uh, <sighs> yeah mine's pretty good yeah I just got back from, from the most magical place on earth what no you didn't Disneyland what you went the to Disneyland the land of Disney Oh, I was going to guess Fresno, California. <laughs> Fresno, All they have is California. Fresno snow up there. It's the happiest other place on Earth. No, Fresno you know is what? actually a pretty desolate place. But, I, also, uh, I also heard that Fresno was the first place to ever introduce a credit card. Like, I believe like it. Like Visa or MasterCard ended up like... Um, demoing the idea of a credit card in fucking in Fresno, Fresno, California. So, like these people are desperate enough; they, yeah. they'll put something on credit. That's that's possible. Uh, Fresno also, interestingly, is the first uh, town in America to introduce uh, quiet sobbing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Probably on For their only, way to work. Mm, yeah. For only nineteen ninety nine, you too you can <laughs> sob quietly. quietly. <laughs> Uh, my aunt's from Fresno. Doesn't speak highly of it. Cries a lot. Um, but yeah, Jimmy, <laughs> you went to uh, you went to Disneyland, huh? Went How Disneyland. was it? It was a grand old time. Yeah. They got the Disneyland Park. Uh huh. They got the California Adventure. Uh huh. This is those two. Did you ride in the teacups? I did not ride in the teacups. Then what the fuck did you go? <laughs> What's I, the even point? I, ro I rode. <laughs> I rode. I rode. <laughs> the that was a roundabout way. Railroad. Maybe seven times. Oh wow! Did you did you hit up Mr. Toad's Wild Ride? Man, it's too hot in there. There's a fire part. It's too <laughs> hot. Oh. <laughs> Get cooked alive. Man, I don't want to be frog legs. I uh, got so much nostalgia for that ride. Why is that? It just it just makes me happy thinking about it. <laughs> it's one of the first because I, 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 I think like Tally -ho. a lot of people if they go to Disneyland the first time they go to Fantasyland they go through the castle. Yeah, right. They, they, go, get they go right straight. That and you go castle. through the castle. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride's right around there. So I can see. I know. I know when, when I went when I was thirteen. That was like the first thing I did was Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Um, but that ride's for tiny babies now. <laughs> <laughs> tiny baby ride. And that's okay. Oh. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Yeah, and that's okay. That was the ride. That was the first time I realized that I was going to die one day. <laughs> I don't. Okay, I guess it's the ride that's... I lost my virginity on. Yeah. Oh. What Wait, really? It? Nope. Oh. It was a short, a short sex. Oh, that, was one, that was one wild ride, all right. <laughs> winky, winky. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's get to the grub. Um, our first would you rather comes to us from Matthew in Walnut Creek, and Matthew asks, would you rather be overwhelmed by all emotions of those oh. around you oh. or fall desperately and exclusively in love with anyone you make eye contact with? What is over? What does the first one mean? Like what? I think like, have you heard of uh, empaths? Yeah. People who are like hypersensitive to. I think it could be bullshit, but I think it could also be, uh, you know, people picking up on other people's emotion. But just like whatever people around you are feeling, you feel it a hundred times. Also, you're like a radio transmitter but for just people. An emotional sponge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So it's like overwhelmed with others' emotions around you in one case and overwhelmed with your own emotion in the other case. Yeah. And I see the, the your own emotion changing very quickly because if you mm. make eye contact with somebody else, you know, it's yeah. done with that, other, that first person. <laughs> it's just well, you're just hopping around like some sort of well, do you Mr. Fall, Toad. Do you fall out of love? I, 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 mean, was, I was just going to ask, like, do you, what is that... Oh, I believe in one love. <laughs> you fucking reggae looking motherfucker. <laughs> well, because do you like go through the life cycle of like falling in and out of love in between? Like, do you? Do it you just, just says fall desperately and exclusively. Oh, okay. in love. Oh. So yeah. with anyone yeah. you make eye contact with. So I think it's a one at a time kind of thing. It's so weird. So every time you make eye contact with somebody new, you're like, boom, that's the, what you're one and only for the, for forever them. for then for as long as until, until you make until eye then contact last. with somebody else. Falling in love is pretty great, though, isn't it? it? But well, so well, it's it's terrible when those affections aren't returned, though. I'd say you know, being, being in love is good. Like, like for me personally, like I am in love with the Rocky, the, the railroad ride at Disneyland. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> Wait, you're right, because you went to Disneyland. I went to Disneyland. You mentioned that. But I also really do like the teacups, as aforementioned. Mm. At Disneyland. I, I Like, it's a sort of love. But not quite. It's not that deep. Every time if I looked at either, if I looked either one in the eye, I don't know if I if I can handle that. You kind know of what I think juggling. is really interesting about your true love ride, love yeah. is it's Thunder Mountain Railroad is what you're talking about, and you're calling it Rocky Mountain. I I, and you I got did the that name the whole week. I, there's a Rocky Mountain chocolate shop, <laughs> and I think I, I fuck it up every time. Is that the place that has like the super big the big teddy bear? bear outside? Yeah, that big yeah. old bear out front. I always every time I pass by one, I just have that urge to throw myself onto it as like, does every single person because he's just sagging he's ha- yeah he's <laughs> hanging he's like pouring over his chair and he's just like brown and stuffy yeah. and i just want to like throw myself into it and take a nap well you know that bear starts off white and oh. then people are sampling chocolate and then they do exactly what you talk about and then eventually he turns brown well then he'll smell delicious too and be very sticky. <laughs> that place has chocolate for dogs, and it just seems like such a an extravagance. <laughs> like, isn't normal chocolate poisonous to? Yeah, so nice. it's like special dog chocolate. But also, I can very easily imagine somebody just fucking not paying attention, and be like, "Oh, what a cute dog bone shaped cookie," oh, and just going nuts. Yum. Yeah. Oh, fuck nuts. It just feels weird. That's like you know. Edible strychnine for humans. Hey, I always wondered what strychnine tasted like. Now you can enjoy it, human. Turns out, you big dum dum. Turns out almonds. It's so yummy. <laughs> it tastes like almonds. Mm, so good in my mouth. You could also eat almonds. That's this poison is great. I, I'm so glad I could finally get to enjoy it without dying. <laughs> Delicious. Pretty much. I could not handle feeling everyone's emotions though going back to the mm. would you rather, oh the, the matter at hand I, that would mm-hmm. probably very quickly make me suicidal so like if i if i ate a dog bone cookie yeah and i was feeling the emotion of disgust yeah or or delight i guess it would break my fucking if, heart if i'm being if i'm being fucking completely ignorant of my surroundings just be like this is a delicious dog biscuit You'd be like, oh, I can't handle this much delight. <laughs> yeah. It's a doggy delight. Well, it's it's overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. But what about all the hearts you break? Well, wait. Because everyone... No. Because you'd fall in love with these people. And then you wouldn't, like, instantly look in somebody else's eyes. But you'd probably, like, confess your undying love to people. And some of <laughs> them would, you know, reciprocate in some way. At least start going on dates with you. And then, and then you'd... When you uh, your eyes were cast upon another's, then then you'd be like, "No, you're old trash." Wait, 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 go wait, to wait, the garbage wait, wait, can. Wait. Trash. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> what? How many people do you think you look in the eyes a day? Uh, I exclusively look at people in the eyes. I I make a fair <laughs> amount of eye contact too. Like yeah, with each of you as I'm speaking to you, I'm making eye contact. Mm-hmm. Unwavering, white. unblinking, unbroken eye contact whenever I speak to a person. How you doing, dude? <laughs> hey Jimmy. You, people people right. on the TV too, you'd fall in love with them. 
It's if they're I looking into camera, that eye contact. That's not eye contact. No. No. You're ma- you are making eye contact. Okay. With them. No, that's not. That's not. That's not eye contact. That's, not contact. that's you're just looking that's at something. That's one-sided. It's you like that's I, that's eye looking. That's let not us, eye contact. Let us, <laughs> friends and neighbors, let us look back to our ancient Greek classics and learn from them. Now, when one is to look into the eyes of the Medusa, one <laughs> would then become a statue of stone. And in this particular situation, let us take a lesson from them and say, if you are to look at somebody in the eyes, say through a mirror, as the hero of that story oh did, God. then perhaps... What? Just talk normal. What? You? No, this is how I talk Just now. talk normal. This is me. <laughs> Whatever. Love me for who I am. Look in my eyes and love me. No. Right. No, Brian, look in my eyes. That, Brian, look in my eyes and that, love me. The magic don't work. Also, your microphone's in front of your face. Ouch. Spurned. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> Yet again. Excuse me, the, the tub is creaky. Much like uh, the tiny <laughs> snakes of a Medusa's head. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say that, yeah, you'd have to look directly eye to eye. Yeah. Eyeball, toe, so eyeball. So if I made... <laughs> If I made mirror glasses. <laughs> right. I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> you you up, cheater man. son of a bitch. <laughs> I'd look silly all the time. But if I wanted to fall in love. See, that's the thing, though. You, you, you mentioned, like, oh, you'd go on some dates, you'd do this. It's like, well, you know, <laughs> like, you fall in love. They don't. It's not a connection. Yeah. But, so, like, some people might return it, though. Like... Somebody once well, told if, me? If, if you... <sighs> I think it would play havoc with your love life. Oh, yeah. It'd be crazy, because, like, if you... Say you get married, and you love this person... I get married. In, I love this person. Yay. Good. You I'm, said I'm, for mazel, me to say mazel tov. I said it. When is... When... When's your anniversary? <laughs> <laughs> um, you, <laughs> you... You get married to him, you, like, every morning, you, like, make sure you, like, look in their eyes. You're like, yeah, I love you today, now. <laughs> and then you, like, go to work, and you're like keeping your head down you're like oh, I just gotta fucking sign these documents that's my job I don't know I'm a document signer and then, and then fucking Becky from from the mailing room's like sir you have a here's a letter and then she hands you a letter and you, you fuck up and you look up and you're like fuck Becky you're like 17 this is terrible <laughs> oh god <laughs> I'm a married man <laughs> <laughs> what is my life and then you go home and everything's fine you're like I gotta look at my wife <laughs> oh, I gotta look at you that's and, a- and then you look at your dog <laughs> then you make eye contact with your six month old child ah! and yeah then shit is really fucked and then it's like that one Twilight movie mm, but it does oh, okay yeah. <laughs> what was that kid's name? Uh, Renesme. Renesme. so no I think Jimmy makes a very good point that just because you fall exclusively in love with somebody doesn't mean that you're like fucking slavishly devoted to them you could still go home to your wife that you or husband that you no longer love look them in the eye and fall back in love with them it never says you have burned that love bridge i think that would like i think that would take a mental toll though like oh yeah gear shifting and twisting like yeah you're not like powerless to control that that feeling of of love well do right. you think do you think you'd get used to it like you'd, you'd know like I'm, I'm gonna fall in love with this person but i actually love my wife or do you just like that you, mental you, toll though fuck Quite possibly. I think that love might lose its meaning because it's just it's this weird symptom of your disease. This is going some places, guys. <laughs> some real <coughs> real dark places. Hey, we're yeah. the proud jacuzzi crew. We don't fuck around. I we guess. don't. Asking the hard questions. Except on our wives. <laughs> we are tireless pursuers of the truth and anybody we make eye contact with. Yeah. Now, how would this affect our poops, though? Hmm. 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 What happens if you make eye contact with your poop? <laughs> what if happens? you put googly eyes on a duty to make the poop emoji, you put a little oh, smile on there too. I can't flush you. I love you. And then you <laughs> fuck a shit. <laughs> fuck a turd. Oh, oh. I'm so this glad. This is going ways, guys. <laughs> so back to empathy, though. Um, yeah. you know, Can I wh- still fuck a turd? What? Yes, sure. Of you course, can always. Bubala, yeah, this is America, and Trump has signed an executive order <laughs> saying you can fuck and marry poop. Good. Great. It's the best. So what do y'all vote then? Uh, okay, so I've got, I've got a thought. Um, 
Spill so it. I, you know, I, I think I would go empath. And what I would do is I would just live in, like, a rural community of, like, mm. like in flyover country where people kind of have more, like, stoic personalities in general. And I think that, like, I could just spend a lot of time at my, my farm and my shed. Yeah. And, like, the only emotions I got to worry about are my dog and my cattle's emotions. And when I go into town, people are so subdued by all of the rich dairy and fats that they consume, that it's not as bad. <laughs> it's all just kind of leveled out. Yeah. Think about this, though, this problem now that you have. You look at your cow in the eyes. <laughs> ah, that's not the problem I have. Because I'm, 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 I'm an empath, baby. I don't fall in love oh. with the cow. Oh, I yeah. On a silver right, horse, yeah, I ride. I experience the emotions of the cow. What is the cow's emotions? Probably hunger. Uh, so this is a dairy cow, so it doesn't have to have that constant fear of death. <laughs> it just needs its udder squeezed. Yeah. So, so, so longing. So in, in the morning's probably a lot of urgency, mm-hmm. you know, but like I think in the midday, oh, that's okay. A deep need for relief. Mm. Mm. I know a little thing about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever that means. Whatever that means. So I think I would go with the fallen in love thing. Um, because... I don't know. I, I I feel like I have the emotional maturity to be able to deal with that in a healthy way. And I and you're right about it taking a mental toll. But at the same time, I'm a very much of a people person, so I need to be around people. I don't think I could handle being by myself on a farm and just feel that jackrabbit's emotion and that hummingbird's emotion. Mm. Um. <laughs> The emotion of every single worm. Yeah, all those worms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think worms experience much emotion. Their emotions are dirt, 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 delicious. The, em- the emotional depth of an invertebrate. Let's I talk took, about it. I took a shit, and that shit was dirt. Although, if a I worm. kept, like, a beehive for a hat, and then I just feel the emotion of, like, dogged determination and and efficiency in working that the bees feel, <laughs> then maybe I'd be a good worker boy. <laughs> Who knows? What a good little worker But no, guy. I'd go with the falling in love thing because, you know what? Love is, is grand. Love and, is um, blind. Love is also blind. <laughs> and then I'd be blind. And I want to be blind. So, go ahead, Jimmy. Uh, well, so if I were the, the, if I went the empath route, uh, Going to a crowded place like Disneyland would be really hard. Um, you, you're bringing up Disneyland be, again? There'd be, there'd be so many people there. Um, if I fell in love with every single person I looked at at Disneyland, that would just heighten the experience. I'm like, oh, love, love, love. <gasps> Roller coaster. But what about, <laughs> what about all the kids who are just, just crying their fucking eyes I'll out the make, entire time? I'll just time. look forward and not ever down. <laughs> oh, you're talking about falling. Wait, I'm confused. I'm not. I'm not going the empath route. Oh, okay. Uh, I can fall because falling in love would would make everything more exciting. Uh huh. But it's a place full of children. Yeah, well, mostly adults, more adults than children. I don't really? think you yeah. lock eyes with kids. Okay. So, That's okay, what I'm so saying. I look fair, forward. To, to be honest, the one time I went to Disneyland, I was 13 and super fucking depressed because it was like a family Aww. reunion thing. Yeah. And I just wanted to be at home smoking cigarettes with my best friend. Right. Being uh, like uh, a teen. Moody. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, probably good call not going the empath route, especially if yeah. you were to run into me. Um, so everyone's crying. Yeah. It's a cry place. It's very chaotic. Yeah. Chaotic. Um, for me, so um, I would probably, it's very interesting. I really like this question. So I think that Good. If, Thank I weren't, Matt. <laughs> if I weren't aware of the quote unquote affliction mm-hmm. um, of like falling in love with everyone I meet, like going to a big city and just kind of like bouncing around in a place with a bunch of people and just like falling in love and being like super happy and in love and like just bouncing between um person and person that way sounds like my 20s (laughs) i know i know might be fun um that said it's probably a lot more depressing in 
actuality. IRL. Um, but I think I would go the empath route and I would do oh, really? the opposite. Um, I would live in a place that has a lot of people in it and uh. try and actually reach out and do some work wow. with people and try to... I don't know. Look at this like altruistic I, tea kettle I, over like here. Dead zone, that shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I mean... No, don't be sorry. <laughs> no, 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 That's yeah, a don't be sorry. deeply empathetic answer. Shit. Well, you go, tea yeah. kettle. Hey, thanks. TK? Mm. Come on, hey. TK. <laughs> TK. TKK. Way to step up to the plate, TK. Hey, thanks. Hey, hey thanks. You're smacking that thing out of the park, TK. <laughs> <laughs> You, you blew it in a good way. You knocked my block off. <laughs> you done knocked that block right off, TK. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like that question. Yeah, that's good. a good one. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, yeah. That's I've known Matt a long time. He comes up with good questions. Nice. Except for that one shitty one. Anyway, what Brian. What was that? Yeah. No, I'm joking. Was. <laughs> was it this one? No. <laughs> we did it, guys. Yay! We answered it. Yay! Clap, Brian. That was like some God emotional work for me. Yeah, I, I was not. I was clap. not expecting that. Hey, but hey you good. know what? Yeah. When you walk into the tub, sometimes you gotta walk into yourself. <laughs> you gotta. Are you ready to see the reflections in your own life in the in tub? The, in the bubbles. In the tub. <laughs> you gotta. You gotta enter the tub one soul at a time. <laughs> you don't just take a dip into the tub. The tub takes a dip, dip into you. Into your soul. <laughs> like an anamorph alien. <laughs> Exactly like an anamorph alien. Yes. You know the one thing that I remember about anamorphs Tell most us. of all is the evil slug alien's weakness was maple flavored instant oatmeal. Was it really? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't remember that. Whoa. I remember very vividly the passage where the kids, the teens, walk into a diner and there's a guy just like raven and like demanding more oatmeal and he's got it like smeared all over his face and ears and he's just eating bowl after bowl of oatmeal <laughs> and cause cause it like yeah that's what uh, damaged the evil slug beings that's <laughs> nuts I, there's, there's a lot of those books and my understanding is that they end on a cliffhanger oh good like they don't ever actually end the series cause Thank they just God. got cancelled but that I, they were like actually good books. Wait, did you just say the book series got canceled? I mean, I guess there's like fifty of them. Yeah, they just there's kept so turning many. them out. Just turn them out. Scholastic alien slugs. Well, you know what slugs are incapable of. Is it loving? It is loving. Ain't wrong. Slug, oh, really? Slugs can love. Oh. They love world domination. Love they love slugs. world domination. <laughs> Uh, and they love eating grass clippings uh-huh. and s- sliming. They love slime. Yeah, that's why they exude slime. Do you guys remember that? Would you rather where? Would you rather be a wear slug or a wear sloth? I vaguely do. I liked that one. Yeah, I picked wear slug. Anyway, so, uh, as you might have surmised, uh, Dane's nostalgia corner. As you might have surmised. Uh, from Dane's Nostalgia Corner, it's Lonely Hearts. Lonely Hearts! Lonely Hearts! When we try to connect were slugs and were sloths um, into that perfect union of sliminess and slothiness. Mm. Um, Sounds slow but sensual. Mm, the best. Uh, and uh, mine this week, it feels like I've kind of done a variation on this before, but uh, I think this guy brings something novel and new to Ooh. it. Uh, mine is entitled, in all caps, just helping out my best friend to find a sweetheart for a lunch date. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Are uh, they a novelist? Huh? Oh, it's it's not terribly long, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, hi, sweetheart. I am just trying to help my friend find a nice woman that would like to meet somewhere close between each other and treat her to lunch or something. He don't have the internet and has a little learning problem, but he is a kind and loving like a little puppy. Oh, my... Yes, he's big, 250 plus, but he likes to cuddle like a big, warm, furry bear. And it's B-A-R-E, bar. Bar. Um, and let you lay down on top of him. He likes B-B-W. That's big, beautiful women. Uh-huh. Women. So that's two women. <laughs> uh, big, beautiful women women. That call themselves Curvy the Best. Please don't pay attention to me standing next to him. Oh, as you can see, I'm just an ugly old short man helping out my best friend. Oh. And there's a picture in oh, this. Boy. Of an uh, ugly old short man? Of like a chubby-ish w- uh, white guy standing next to a wooden sculpture of this weird, like, Neanderthal-looking guy with a pint of beer. 
And I think that what? This, this is the point in reading this um, where I think we're to infer that he the the uh, writer is the human who's trying to hook up his friend the wooden sculpture with a lady. I'm show, gonna show my my Wait, tub you mean, mates. Do you mean that the now. other way around? No. No. You mean that he's writing as if he is the little sculpture trying to get the human a date? No, 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 no. He's writing as a human because humans can write, sculptures can't, and he's trying to hook up <laughs> the sculpture with a lady. That's what I think after reading this several times. Right. Could it could it possibly be like a big giant blow up doll? Uh, it, like, the, so my printer's running out of toner, so it's hard to tell, but that actually is, like, a, a wooden sculpture. It's, it's wooden. It's not blow up, I don't think. Because I'm wondering, like, also, does he actually want them to, like, cuddle? Like, is he <laughs> trying to, like, get them to, like, date on a couch like, and, like, watch a movie together while he's, like, in the corner, like, oh, that's, popcorn watching? No, that's Dick's Last Resort. Maybe touching on himself. Um, this what? is Dick's Last Resort. Well, don't, no spoilies. Oh. What is that? My bad. All right, hand me back. Hand me back. We'll cut that out and post. Show me. So, okay. So, so there's more reading. There's oh, more reading sorry. to do. So, look quickly, my friend. I'm looking quick. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, the human guy's the one on the left. Oh, I see. He's enormous. Yeah. yeah. The sculpture. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, please don't pay any attention to me standing next to him. The sculpture. As you can see, I'm just an ugly old short man helping out my best friend. I don't do well with curvy BBW because they don't like skinny old men that can't perform in bed. Oh. If you have a lonely heart... Ah, ah, they said the title. That also wants, and uh, all, in all caps, someone to cuddle with on the couch in the cold evenings watching a Netflix movie, send me a message that I can read to my friend and put a big smile on his face. <laughs> Enter cuddle in the subject line so I'll know that you read this and not spamming us. Mm. Signed, a d- d- jabroni. Um, <laughs> so, so uh, I think that, that that's pretty amusing by itself. But he also added like stats, mm-hmm. kind of like you know you can like like add stats in. And I'm not gonna read them all because he's got a lot of them. Good. Uh, but some of these are real good, real good. Uh, so age 39, just so you know, uh, resembles out of this world. Oh. Out of this wood, wood, or wood. Uh, eye color, bloodshot. Oh, Jesus. Hair, oh. like a movie star. What? Body art, all over him. Because he, he is art. Ethnicity, same as you. <laughs> Fears, jail. <laughs> Personality, loves like a puppy. Uh huh. Education, preschool, occupation. <laughs> Occupation, bouncer at strip club. HIV, HSV, HPV. Who cares? <laughs> oh, I care. Who cares? <laughs> Especially about HPV. <laughs> Especially about HIV. <laughs> oh, right, oh, right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> diet, only lots of beer. <laughs> Dislikes, bossy women. Oh, oh, God. That was maybe the biggest strike against him. Uh. Don't get me started. <laughs> uh oh, tea kettle's about to go. Mm. I'll She's tell you what to do. <laughs> um, no, I won't. No, I you're not going to blow it. That. Okay. No, I don't need to go on any feminist rants this evening. <laughs> Good. So uh, yeah, what would you guys think of that? What you think about that little? I'm little confused. Man? I'm confused. It sounds like it's just all a joke. Yeah, is it a joke or like, is like, he? I wasn't sure if it was just a crazy man, <laughs> but then the stats. We're all jokes. I think we should treat it as if it's actually this guy. I do believe to, so. Also, trying to hook up his statue wood friend. friend. Wait, before mm. you started, before you showed us it, I th- I thought it was gonna be like a like a ventriloquist dummy or something. You know, like <laughs> don't mind me. Mm, you're on a date with Puppo, <laughs> the puppet. Oh, close. Uh, yeah. Close enough. Yeah. Yeah, I like it makes me kind of wonder like is it like a joke or is he trying to use like the statue as like a surrogate for himself? Like is he still I mean, is this to, the like, real life or is this just fantasy? I kind of land mine all escape from reality. I think he should Kaboom. open his eyes and what? look up to the skies and see that <laughs> easy come easy go, little high little low. Ishbilda. Anyway, the wind blows, nothing really matters to them. Jimmy? Jimmy? It's to Jimmy. It's a lot of emotions you guys just had. Dun, 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 dun. I don't understand your song references. <laughs> um, all right. 
Didn't hear it in Disneyland. <laughs> no, they don't play. They, it's all Disney music. In Disney. Let me tell you about the music in Disneyland. No. Uh, oh, so in the tea in the tea cup ride, it's that the same song. you didn't go on. It's all whistles. That's how it goes. Um, title of this is Worthless Bitches. Oh, no. Stark contrast to Y'all the... Y'all are pushing my feminist buttons. <laughs> oh, some times that one can have at Disneyland. Online dating is nothing but the same dysfunctional, unhealthy losers posting over and over again. Even when someone's a loser. Even yeah. when someone seems semi-normal, they never respond. But they post again and again. So what is wrong with you, quote, women? Uh, what? I put, I oh, and he goes on. I put that in quotes because I suspect half of these ads that aren't some spam bot are gay men pretending to be women. What? Oh. What's the point? What does that get you? Those crafty gay men. Those fucking crafty they gays. Can't, they can't get, uh, you know, other gay men on their own. They've got to pretend to be women. Oh, yeah. You see? That is how it is working. No straight man is going to be swayed into having sex with you. Go to the gay 90s to find someone. <laughs> I'm sure there's got to be at least one guy there who Wait. would have sex with you. Wait, guys. guys no you... matter how homely you are. Guys, do you smell that? I, I think I... Is that repression? I think I smell repression. I think I'm smelling some repression. That is wafting in. It's oh, wafting man. gently. Wafting. Gently? I don't know. I mean, Do you remember it seems to be wafting aggressively. Yeah. Do you remember that time in the 90s when we were all gay? God, what, yeah. a, what, a, what a few years those, those were. Those gay, gay 90s. Time. Oh, yeah. I long for the simpler days sometimes. When yeah. Cher was at the top of her game. <laughs> Do you believe in life after life? <laughs> um... As for the actual women, again, what's the point? Why post an ad if you're a deluded, fat, ugly bitch who yeah. thinks you're supposed to have some athletic pretty boy? How has that been working out for you? Not too well, considering your endless ads. Oh. Stop demanding pictures when you don't post any. Mm. Stop making demands, period. If I had all the things you bitches think, God. Oh my God. So I only read half of this because I wanted to surprise myself a little bit. Oh. I was like, this is. I was like, this is good enough. Yeah, I read. Usually, my vetting process is I read about a quarter or half of it, and then I, if I know, then I know for sure. It's like, ooh, this is gonna be good. Um, stop making demands, period. If I had all the things you bitches think you, I'm supposed to have, do you seriously think I would want anything to do with you? Oh I could be homeless, God. and I still wouldn't want anything to do with most of you, even if it meant a free meal and roof over my head. If you are actually normal and who you claim, then answer your damn mail. I'm sure most of the replies you get are junk, leaving you only a handful of good messages. So it shouldn't be too hard to respond to them. Don't say you're overwhelmed with responses and then post another ad to get more responses. And seriously, guys, don't write me to tell me I'm right. Why are you even looking at my ad in the first place? Guys. That's Signed. all. Signed, Mike Pence. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you. Children, cover your ears. Earmuffs. What a fucking piece of dog shit my he's just like this well can't be I the can't. reason that women aren't responding to my ads is women it, <laughs> and or gay, gay men. men yeah yeah uh, no. not me the common fucking denominator of yes. my, like <laughs> shitty <laughs> life no this guy doesn't be- <laughs> this guy doesn't deserve a wooden statue oh my god <laughs> yeah no, no i'm no Maybe only Ooh, one for the splinters. The kettle's are burning! <laughs> He's just so full of fucking venom. And it's yeah. like, yeah, like his, the answer to the question is like, look at him right in the face. The problem is him. Well, my, 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 is my him. other favorite part about this is that this was posted in Men for Women. So, it's just like, what, well, do, you, what do you want? Like, who's, oh, who's oh you're right. Res- I will message you now man now like, now i will now that i see you you know the way it goes i don't think that was his intention at all i no, don't think he's actually he was just trying venting. to like hook up he was just mm. venting because that's he what can't, it feels like, like yeah because he's an infinite I like asshole my anonymity. i really responded to your your untethered rage yeah. it really made me it reminded me of my dad and yeah like i could see myself having a family with i'm just you. soaking I just love wet feeling so unsafe <laughs> like call, call me a bitch please please yeah. again Please. Um, I, I think it's weird that he's expecting 
men to respond to him with agreement also yeah well he, he yeah. said he said don't do that but yeah, like, no but well, like the idea is like expects it so then he's be like mm, you're right bro high how? five over the internet mm. like i mean and like how many of those douche nozzles like go looking at men for women ads like being like you know i'm really looking for a like man to douchebag like me oh this guy gets it hey bro i totally get you man i saw your ad in best of because it was just so good <laughs> And yeah. True. Um, whether or not the first one's a joke is, is kind of uh, neither here nor there at this yeah. point. Uh, the, <laughs> the second one is a piece of human garbage. Man, yeah. and I thought that bossy women thing was going to set me off. Mm-mm. Yeah. Woo! Hoo-wee. Y'all are putting me through an emotional ringer tonight, my mm. dudes. Oh, you just you wait. This we, is a hot jacuzzi. Ooh, this this jacuzzi <laughs> you know, uh, is just getting warmed up. Just, you, know, you know what? What might help? What? Calm, calm, calm your, your, your... Rage? Your rage. A snow What's cone? That? Uh, you know where you can get, like, the best snow cones. Where? Oh, my God. Disneyland. Oh, no. Because oh. Jimmy went to Disneyland, guys. I was, like, up until, right until the <laughs> last moment, I was like, where's he going with that? Oh, a, shit! You can get a dull whip. It's pineapple ice cream with pineapple juice. It's delicious. What's the next question, Dave? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Would you rather go to Disneyland or Disney World? <laughs> oh, my God! It's not that. Oh. Um, our next Would You Rather comes to us from <laughs> the Ooh. land of wonder and happiness known as Reddit. Hey. Uh, user a rock gamer <laughs> asks, well, it starts with a statement. Assume you can talk to your pet, and they'll understand every word you say, <gasps> but Aww. only for one day. Aww. Aww. Would you rather talk to them on the first day you bring them home, or on their last day with you? <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god! god. Yeah, what I told the you. Fuck? I told you. What, Dave, you guys, what the I fuck is this episode? This. I told you. Is the third question going to be real silly? I don't know. Could it please? I do know. This, this is two happy questions in a row <laughs> on our comedy podcast. Oh, oh, the tea kettle's literally turning red right now. <laughs> I'm kind of crying. Oh, oh no. God. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm emotional. TK. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. No, I just really love my dog. Yeah, yeah and we all oh love your dog. God. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm okay. Tell uh, us about oh, your dog. The tea kettle oh. owns a dog named The Wall. And <laughs> oh, audience, if you knew the tea kettle's dog. Oh, mm, he's uh, a funny. fucking sweetheart. The yeah. mensch. Oh, I would I would definitely do the last day. Yeah? Definitely do the last day. Well, tell us why. Well, because, like, can you imagine, like... <gasps> Just airing it all out? Getting, <laughs> it, getting it all up? Because, like, if you could have, like... <clears throat> okay, so they say this thing about dogs. It's like dogs are the only animal on earth that will love another animal or another person more than it loves itself. Oh, sure. Right? Like, I guess maybe like humans excluded because mm-hmm. I guess, you know, you have a baby and I mm-hmm. guess that happens. I don't know. I guess. Who knows? Um, <laughs> but like... None of us have wombs. We don't know. But like, can you imagine being a dog and like having, like being on your last day? Yeah. And then finally being able to communicate with the person that you've devoted your life to, like, trying to make happy. Mm. And then have that person be like, I love you, it's cool, I'm sorry, it's your last day, but, like, I'll remember you forever. Yeah. Mm. Oh, So you're thinking more of the dog. (laughs) You're thinking more for the dog than yourself. Yeah. It's almost like you love that dog more than you love yourself. Whoa! Oh, oh. Oh. I flipped it on its dog ear. Inception. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. (laughs) And then to make sure that you're not in the dream, you chase your tail over and over again and spin around and around. And if you fall down, then you know. (laughs) Then you know. (laughs) Um, Man, you guys. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. I almost thought I had forgotten how to feel for a moment. Thanks. You know what? Well, if you believe in a life after love, then... I do. Yeah. Something inside me say I really don't think you're strong enough, no. This question's fucked up. It's why? It is a fucked well, up question. Like, it is a fucked up Because, like, once yeah. you, if you pick the last day 
and your dog starts talking to you all of a sudden, you're like, no! <laughs> but what's up, though? Dog. <laughs> what if your dog or, like, your animal actually hated you? Oh. Right. Then you'd find I out. You would. I think you'd know life. before the oh, last oh, day. What true. if you got a really subdued dog, though? What if it's, like, a real, like, chill dog? It kind of, like, has a great poker face. It's just brooding against you? Yeah, well, it's, it's got a great for poker years. face. And it's just, like, at the end of its life, it's just, like, you know... I never you, liked that you food. son of a bitch. <laughs> I stole $20 that one time. The, the things I've been meaning to say to you. No. I'm about That's, to set you straight, Sally. All those times you, you had the ball in your hand and you, you winged your arm back like you're going to throw the ball, <laughs> but you didn't throw the ball. No, no. I, I knew then I could never trust you. No, but... No, but... Uh, Herbie, I, w- I was Herbie. playing. We were playing, Herbie. How many times you were sleeping and I stood over you thinking <laughs> oh how gosh. soft and delicious your neck <laughs> Herbie, Herbie, you're a schnauzer. How- <laughs> that should never have crossed your little doggy mind. I loved you, Herbie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Way to take it dark, Brian. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. That's, that's, that's how that's I good, roll. That's a good palate cleanser, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, first day um, with a turtle, and oh. then just like get to know that turtle real well. That full day, just just really ask the probing questions. Oh, I thought this was specifically for a dog. No, it says your pet. Oh, it just went to dogs. Immediately. Because the kettle had to cry thinking about Wally, so oh, the wall. That's, that's, the well, wall. So would you? Funny though, I was thinking dog. Does that mean know. that you 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 wouldn't get like a baby turtle? You get like a somewhat adult. turtle. I would get a somewhat adult turtle that kind of knows itself. It knows itself. Yeah. So I, so I wouldn't be. It's important. No, it is because then if the turtle matures, then its tastes would change, and then you know you wouldn't be able to keep up with that. You you get to a baby. You get a baby turtle. And you're like, what are you into? And it's like, mm-hmm. get into the water! <laughs> and you're like, I'm into, cool, what I'm a wish. lettuce, probably. I don't know, I don't eat a lot yet. What's the, what's the average life expectancy for like a pet turtle? I, I think it's like 70 or 80 years. Turtles yeah. can, depending on the on the type, they yeah. can live for fucking ever. Little box turtles. Way longer Or like a tortoise. Humans, depending. If what, if, what if, yeah. what if, what oh if you God. had a pet... That, and I don't think you could do this with a turtle, but you might be able to do it with some other animal species that, you know, whatever. What if you could somehow teach it to communicate with you beyond the first day? So, like, maybe, mm. like, like a sloth or something Mm-mm. that had, yeah. like, fingers, and, you know, you can maybe, like, teach it some sign language. Oh, my God. That would be fucking cool. Mm. And then you could just be bros with a sloth. Hmm. And, what like, actually talk? if, <laughs> uh, expanding <laughs> on that, what if you got a, 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 a uh, yes? What is the word I'm trying to say? Oh, a, like a turtle animal that that lives for fucking ever. Yeah. Right. And you get an animal that's gonna outlive you. Uh huh. So you get to talk to it on your, your last, last day. day. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, I think uh, like macaws live somewhere between eighty and ninety years. Wow. Macaw. Yeah, macaws can be like passed down from generation to generation, oh, like, yeah. um, as can turtles. So yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty sweet to 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 be able to converse on your last day. But I think I'd go first day because I feel like in death, I don't know. Like there's there's things to be said by the person who's living on to make them feel better. But I think that it would be more meaningful to me if I could talk on the first day and get to know this creature that I'm about to spend many, many years with. So yeah. I think dis- despite the species, uh, even like a goldfish, I think would I'd talk on that first day with just to get a flavor for like who this <laughs> thing is. What are you, what are you into, fish food? Right. <laughs> you got more food? Swimming. I'm hungry. Swimming fish food. Swimming. I'm always Bubbles. hungry. I'm never not hungry. Bubbles are like making bubbles. Wait, where am I? <laughs> I like those little rocks. What's swim- that over there? I'm swimming 24 7, bro. <laughs> I'm all about that swim life. You know what I'm into? Not sleeping. Who's my Who's my BFF? Uh, that the little scuba man at the bottom, bottom, hey, the bottom of the tank. Hey, who's that little man at the bottom of the tank? Let me go introduce myself. Name Bob. Because they have the short memories. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I'd go with the first day so that I could like know the personality of of this pet. 
I would uh, do last day, and I'll tell you why. Um, because I think if I did do first day, and you do make a good argument for first day. Oh, thank you. Um, I think it, it would just be, to me, it would be too much like it's all downhill from there. Because, <laughs> like, you've had this great moment of communication, and then for the rest of your relationship with this animal, you're like, oh, well, I, I don't know what you're thinking. Bork, bork. But, but I know that you're capable of more communication, but I, I, I've got to, like, you know, guess, and, it, like, I'd have all this doubt, but, like, you know, can I be sure? I mean... And it's like, and like throughout the rest of your relationship, like you feel this distance, whereas you began with such closeness and like that, that would be heartrending. Um, and I also really like the idea of like building up to that communication and having a really great poignant last, like Roy Beatty talking with Rick Deckert, kind of like, Whoa. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Yeah. <laughs> I've sniffed buttholes. <laughs> so many buttholes. <laughs> such a, such a, such a canvas of buttholes I've smelled. <laughs> Just a, a rich tapestry of flavors and scents. Soon, soon they'll all be on like tears in the rain <laughs> from a butthole. Tears from the rain. Tears from a butthole. Of a butthole. I remember butthole an tearing. Three. That and was a good butthole. <laughs> the great butthole war. <laughs> we fought in. <laughs> um. So so yeah. I and I think that like yeah. There's something very poignant and very like true and honest uh, with like the sort of like closing conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. James, it's too fucked up. Can I just not? No, get a answer. Pet? Get an ant. Get your ant farm. Talk to all your fucking <laughs> ants. I don't. They all were dead. They only had last day before <laughs> I got there. Oh, nice callback. It's call mm-hmm. back. Call back. Call ant back. Call your aunt back, everyone. <laughs> Call your aunt. She loves you, maybe. Oh, she Answer does. the question. <sighs> Just pick one. I'm gonna You've send never podcast. done this. I'm gonna send what do you mean I've never you? done this? <laughs> you never asked such a hard a hard question. This is, this is like actually probably the hardest question we've ever answered. What? Is there what's a harder question than this? Uh sweat pasta sauce or have your head <laughs> no. the size of a fist? <laughs> That's way easier. <laughs> it's just off the top of my head. I haven't even looked them up. <laughs> uh, I swear to god if the third question is worse than this. Okay, I, I'm going to tell you the third question now. It's would you rather outlive your spouse or die before your spouse? I'm, I got I'm go. joking. That's I not got, it. I got to go. go. Are you trying to make me cry? No, no, no. I'm, I'm joking. very sensitive today. I know. What I'm if sorry. I'm married to my pet? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, well then, because this... I looked him in the eye, <laughs> and said it's okay. Well, then this one will. Then you really got to answer this one, I won't you, the, I Jimmy? I guess it's the last day. Yeah, this is yeah. It's Brian's right because of the poignancy and the nostalgia. And well, you're just just because it's off. like it's all downhill. Oh, but also it would be cool to be like, you remember that butthole though? <laughs> <laughs> That was all right. And I don't even have a dog. So what am I talking about in this scenario? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess by the rules of the Project Kizzy no, Crew. No, no, um, no. We're all winners. No. We Veto, 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 Veto. Guys, let me finish. I disagree. Let me finish. I disagree. <laughs> let me f- whatever I'm going to say, it. I disagree. <laughs> finish. Okay, by, finish. By the rules okay. of the Project Kizzy Crew... <laughs> It's now time for Mary Fuck Kill. Go ahead, Jimmy. <laughs> I disagree. I think it's the old switcheroo. I think it's time for doing some sweet, sweet squat scatting. Scooby doo 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 Thank you, TK. I lost my story. <laughs> no, Sorry, when, when you were growing, growing up, growing record up, player. When you were growing up. Oh, um, yeah. So when I was growing up, <laughs> throwing um, up. we had a record player and I had this record that was like songs from Sesame Street. Uh-huh. Oh, um, and there was one that my mom would sing to me um, from that style. record about like taking a bath. And it would go, everybody wash your hair. And she would like do that for as long as it took for me to wash my hair. Um, oh my God. And... Um, I two hours later, pretty much. Um, <laughs> and I was gonna sing that just now, uh-huh. but and I was kind of hoping someone would be like, "Yeah, I remember that song." And now we're just listening. I remember to me a talk. lot of. 
I remember a lot of Sesame Street songs, and that's not one of them. Mm. Uh, I know Rubber Ducky, you're the one. Mm-hmm. That's a that good one. That was on the record. Rubber Ducky. And then uh, my little brother had a Sesame Street video ga- or a computer game. Um, it's and called Doom. <laughs> <laughs> you were Grover, and if you, if you went to put, Hell Mars. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you put in uh, the cheat code, then his eyes would turn yellow, and he was invulnerable. No, um, and, and it, there was a part of the game which was a pretty shitty game, but there was a part of the game where you could watch different clips from Sesame Street, and that was my favorite thing to do. And whenever <laughs> he'd be like, Dane, play this game with me, like I'd be like, oh, going to the theater, let's go! <laughs> and I'd just watch this. But there was one about an alligator king and his seven sons. I highly recommend looking it up, hmm. viewers. <laughs> my sister um, had a cassette tape, an audio cassette tape, uh, that that my mom got through, like a diaper promotion mm. or something, and it was all like lullabies except it said my sister's name like in it because yeah. like I guess they must have just made uh, an amount of these like with common names. Huh. Uh, my sister has a very common, born in the late eighties name of Jennifer. Oh, um, it was all the rage, right? Um. And I used to be real fucking jealous that there was not a tape where, where a guy was singing my fucking name. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, to you're the best. I like the Jimmy's. Jimmy's are great. That's how it went. I know what I'm getting Jimmy for Christmas. Aww. A sweet guitar 80s cassette. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Um, the guy who did the, vo- or did the song for the uh, Alligator King actually did the character's design for Woody in Toy Story. Oh, oh shit. Fucking yeah. shit. His name was like Tom Duty or something. Duty. <laughs> something like that. Anyway, uh, Mary Fuck Kill, do it now. Liquid solids, gases, go. Wait, really? Whoa. Yes. Okay. Which <laughs> would you rather, Mary Fuck or Kill? A liquid, a solid, or a gas? Gas would be probably smelly. Jumping Jack I mean, Flash. Not if it's a. Not if it's an odorless. There's a lot of odorless gas. Not, not if it's a noble gas. Like oxygen. <laughs> I have no idea how to even start answering well, this. Well, okay, so liquids, you know, Slurpy. they move around. They flow. They're, they get they're around, flowing. around, get around, they get around. Not a lot of friction there. Mm. Um, solids, you'd get the friction get uh, you'd friction. need, um, or insertion, depending on mm-hmm. if uh, you have a spout or not. Solidity, uh, permanence, um, yeah. reliability. <laughs> Gases... <laughs> Gases, wow, I feel like gases are, are very, like, fun and, like, out there. They, they fill can, the space. But they can still fill your space. But they can fill your space right I up. I don't know what I mean. Um, I don't know so what just, I mean. just, yeah, I mean, so in, in uh, <laughs> if I could borrow from the, the tarot cards, I'm going to do that. There's the elements of uh, earth, wind, and what would be a gas? I guess that's steam. Uh, well, there's, <clears throat> I mean, you're talking about like the classic, like from like, Greek, oh, no, no, Greek. Er, excuse me, sorry, earth, water, and air. Those yeah. would be the mm-hmm. three. Avatar. So, well, there's, I mean, I mean, the, in the sort of like classical, like Greek, you know, like pre, you know, like science. Yeah, there's also basically. The yeah, there's like there were four elements um, in like uh, uh, air, earth, um, air, earth, water, fire. Right. Yeah, those are the the classics. Um, so without fire, but uh, yeah. so water is emotion, air is intellect, and earth is uh, duty. <gasps> duty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. So oh. if that has any any bearing that on anybody's... Yeah. Yeah. And with Betsy Devos as the new uh, education oh oh. Uh, cabinet member, we're moving back to that construction on the elements. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. And then the well, fifth element of love. How many atoms of fire do you think are in hydrogen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm betting a bunch. At least several. <laughs> Got quite a few. Wasn't there Kettle and maybe Brian as well? Wasn't there an episode of... Uh, of next gen where data lost his brains and he was on a planet and they were trying to say that like everything contained all elements and he was like that log can't contain fire you fucking idiot 
<laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> I, Whoa, d- no. I don't r- quite, but I can believe that is an episode. And then they were like, no, you're a fucking heretic and a robot, maybe. But they didn't know he was a robot. Mm. Wow, I don't recall that one at they're all. They're on some primitive-ass fucking garbage rock of a planet. That sounds a little familiar, actually. I love it when Jimmy gets <laughs> so indignant. <laughs> That he starts throwing around you fucking idiot <laughs> wantonly. Can we do a, a new weekly segment where you paraphrase an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation? I don't remember that many. <laughs> well, Good. I guess it'll only be a couple of weeks then. There you, was one like, episode of Deep Space Nine. Don't where, waste it. No. Well, like, you could, like, watch the episode and then paraphrase it on the show. That's true. Like, that, that would be great. I'd be content with well, that. Well, here's the problem with that, though, is that I'd remember it too much. They're also kind of already doing that on another podcast. Are they? Oh, the greatest um, generation. No, um, Sleep with Me is actually oh, really? recounting episodes of Next Gen. Oh, that's yeah. pretty funny. Okay. Um, I I know that because I am currently away from home and needed to sleep. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Far Town, USA. Is yeah. Far away. Yes, it is. Um, uh, that's Kettle Town. It's Kettle, Kettle Town. Kettle Sorry. Kettle, it's kettle just it's just kettle, south of Farton. It's yes. kettle. It's kettle town, Jake. It's kettle. Just walk <laughs> one away. time, forget about it. One time, though, real quick. <coughs> Miles O'Brien. Miles O'Brien. Hit a, hit a guy in the head with the rock and killed him in his brain prison. That's all. Oh. <laughs> And cool. join us next week for Jimmy's <laughs> Jimmy's recap of the Star Trek. I would <laughs> marry Earth, or excuse solids. me, solids, solids, because of its solidness. <laughs> you know, um, I rock. right. Um, I would fuck water. Um, because water is sexy, like flowing all over my body. <laughs> Liquid. Oh yeah, I like them wet. Mm. You know, you know what I mean. Mm. And then I would kill air uh, gases. gases, um, because they're probably smelly. Yeah, gases, except oxygen. Gotta love that oxygen. Oh, yeah. Um, but also just kind of like. I feel like gases would be more flaky and it'd be it wouldn't you wouldn't be able to depend on a gas. They might turn into a solid or a liquid if you're not careful. Right. And I don't want that kind of unpredictability. I guess that could happen if either of the other ones. Hush now, too. child. Mm. Um <laughs> And you know what? If I take a gas somewhere, they're just gonna fill up the room and nobody's gonna pay attention to me and I need people to pay attention to me. Always. Yeah. Guys, look at me. Everyone Everyone look at me! Everybody look at me right now! Hi, Dean. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, that's my answer. Good. Oh! I think oh, your sorry. answer is gas, gas, and gas! <laughs> hey. Tip it over and pour out the gas. I'm drinking a squirt. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> go, somebody go! Um, on that note, I would... Um, I would fuck water because mm. as a kettle, I've got many nooks and crannies, oh, and I sure. would like them all to be filled. Ew. Oh, I like inside. Oh my. Um, I would marry the solids because it's dependable, and you just what you see is what you get. Yeah. And you know what? There's there's no there's no guesswork involved. Yeah. 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 And gases. Yeah. They yeah, can go straight whatever. to hell. They can go straight to hell. They're yeah. gross. Yeah. You light them on fire. Yeah. Icky gross. Except for the solid of potassium or sodium. When sodium is like in a concentrated solid state, if you introduce it to water, it explodes. Whoa. Pretty crazy, huh? Well, they can't all be winners. That's sexy. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah. That's hot. Jimmy likes that. Yeah. Brian, you got something? Uh, yeah, I would marry solids because solid snake. He's the best, <laughs> and I'd put a bandana a reason on any. it, and that yeah, we'd married forever. And, uh, and then you get an exclamation above your head, and, and I, an eye patch. And I would fuck water because Bruce Lee said that he moved like water, and that's fucking awesome, <laughs> right? <laughs> fuck, fucking um, awesome. I'm all about getting my dick wet. I'm all right. I'm just being right. Fuck water. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> if any of that is actually understandable, I'll be amazed. Um, and again, I would kill gas because farts. And if I if I kill gas, maybe nobody ever farts again forever, and I'm like a hero. 
I could actually be a hero in people Trump's America. Explode. I might get like a medal for that. I guess they won't. But actually, no. I'd probably if I killed gases in Trump's America, I'd probably be murdered because like there's probably a gas lobby and they probably <laughs> pay big money to Trump. That seems like he seems like that kind of guy. He seems like that kind of guy. Yeah. yeah. You're getting oddly political in the oddly, last half of this oddly, podcast. Yeah. Um, but I mean, today is an important day to get. It's a politically charged day. It We're is. all a little emotional yeah, and a Every little bit day. gassy. A little bit gassy. Yeah. A little bit gassy. So, do you guys, do you guys ever see a, do you guys ever see the Avatar: The Last Airbender f- film, the live action film? They couldn't no. get through five minutes. Is that the so, James Cameron one? Yep. Mm, so it's oh yep. Avatar: Wait, The Last oh, no, Airbender. No, it's not no, not the James Cameron one. Shyamalan. You're thinking That's, Shyamalan. Yeah, yeah. Night Shyamalan. Yeah. You said it. So James Cameron isn't a shitty director, but he makes shitty movies now. So you said one shitty director, and I was like, yes. Uh, but there's a scene with the Earthbenders, and I guess they're getting attacked. I haven't seen it, but I've seen this scene. And they're getting attacked or something, and they're all like a, like ten different Earthbenders are like doing all these fucking moves. They're like, wah, 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 and then like... This one little rock starts moving all slowly across the screen. Like it took ten of these motherfuckers to move this one tiny shitty little CG oh, rock. No. So I kill solids. <laughs> <laughs> because M. Night Shyamalan ruined a great franchise? Yeah. Oh. Um I'd fuck liquids. Mm-hmm. Because they can get all up inside me and stay there. <laughs> oh. Not like a, ga- a gas would escape. Yeah, But sure. I'd marry a gas. Oh. Because they could escape. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what does they that mean? To. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Pretend, yep. <laughs> we did it. Sort Yay. of. Sort of. <laughs> I'd, li- I'd love to hear the psychoanalysis of this segment <laughs> from like a psychology podcast. I mean, we all said the same thing, so... Well, wait, well, yeah, it was unanimous, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. No, well, no, no, except wait, for him. No, except he's, for he's the odd man. Wait, did you all say the same thing but me? Uh-huh. I think we did. But I have nothing to say about that little tidbit oh. fact that happened. Oh. Where different things agreed and different things didn't agree. Yeah. Anyway, our Good. last would you rather. I bet everyone is stoked about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure everyone's just... Just hugging themselves. Just, just hunky like, mm, dorkies. Mm, Dane's dorky. tired, stupid bit is no longer <laughs> happening. Oh, mm. We don't have to feed that. Ooh. Ooh, we don't have to hear it anymore. You know who likes mm. bits? Do you know who likes bits? Mm. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Okay. <laughs> you know where he lives? I was wondering when that was going to pop up. Uh, a steamboat. A steamboat. <laughs> the Magical Kingdom. Oh, uh, okay. Of the Magical Disneyland would you were. Okay, great. Uh, Our last would you rather comes to us from Stephanie Edden Berkeley, and she asks, get out your hankies. Oh, no. Are you fucking kidding? Would you rather haunt an old motel or an old movie theater? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Excuse me. Oh, hold hotel. Hotel. So, both... All right. So, at first, I was like, movie theater, because I can watch movies, but actually... You could fucking be a fly on the wall in the hotel for lots of... Oh, man. It's... it's Oh, oh. Yeah, it's a die. juicy one. I want to die and die. do this. Can I die, guys? I mean, you are obsessed with death. <laughs> of other people. <laughs> myself. Don't, don't mix... Don't fucking... Don't paint me in a corner right now. <laughs> don't cross my wires, Dane. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather haunt a hotel <laughs> or a movie theater hmm. as a used... I think it might be fun to haunt a movie theater so you can, like, fuck with the kids who are, like, fooling around in the back yeah. seat. Oh, yeah. Or the back row, rather. Mm-hmm. Like back somebody, seat's elsewhere. Somebody fucking mm-hmm. puts their dick in the popcorn and then you as a ghost make all the popcorn come out. <laughs> and then everyone sees their dick. Everyone's just like, look at that dick. Your dick isn't in the popcorn. Your dick is in dactoplasm. <laughs> I got slimed. Who you gonna call? someone else um (laughs) yeah i mean i do love movies a lot but i feel like a hotel would have more stories more real human drama yeah more real human drama you'd have so many rooms 
Yeah. You could make the hotel famous. Like, I don't know if you could make the movie theater famous hmm. for being haunted. No, maybe, like maybe. they don't show any scary movies. It's just like all Transformers and shit. Oh. Like <laughs> it's just yeah. Homeward Bound. Over <laughs> over again. The second one. Oh god, Sassy, we gotta get home again. I'm a sassy cat. <laughs> Fuck you, dogs. Uh, I'm Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Aladdin too. How did this never even got a theatrical release? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, right? Robin Williams didn't even like this one. <laughs> Robin Williams wasn't even in this fucking movie. Wasn't even in you this know, they one. didn't even ask Robin Williams to do the second one. Yeah. And then they made it, and he's like, what the hell, guys? And then he was in the third one. I didn't even know there were more than one. Yeah, there's yeah. three. Yeah, there couple. Two isn't super good. Three is actually okay. but well, then two, Sean so, Connery's in it, too. Oh, God. Well, I think they made the second movie the around the same time they had the, the show. So they needed, right. like, a genie actor. Because it's Dan... Castanella, blah 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 blah, sure. right? I believe it. Palmer Simpson. It's actually Vladimir. The other Vla- it's actually Vladimir Putin. Oh fuck! Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. That was before he went into politics. Oh, I'm oh, not yeah. digging this new po- political. <laughs> I'm. I, this is entertainment. This was Vladimir that, Putin before wow. he got into politics. This is between when he worked in the KGB and b- between when he worked in. I like, still politics. had a love of horses. Brian, I didn't realize you were such a Putin. Put him. <laughs> Put him. Put, what? No. Did the, you mean uh, pudding? No, I meant the the Yiddish put, word put, for put, face. Put, put, Putin put, face. Put him. Put him. Putin. Put, put him. Putin face. A yeah. Face. I meant Putin head. What Never even mind. does that mean? Let's just keep going. <laughs> oh God. Dane, I didn't know you spelled Russian. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah, I do. What would Vladimir Putin haunt? Um, <laughs> like a gun range, <laughs> <laughs> like a gun range slash like brothel. Yeah, yeah. like a bordello. That's, yeah, yeah, like a combination of both. <laughs> Where are all these dead hookers keep coming from? <laughs> so, Shit. Okay, so Putin uh, again didn't mean for this to be the politics episode. Um, so yeah, like there was like an accusation <laughs> that Russia like furnished Trump before he was elected with prostitutes when mm-hmm. he was visiting Russia once. Oh yeah, and like Vladimir Putin responded to this which was a little bit surprising but his response was even more funny because it was like um i i will not say that russia furnished uh president trump with any prostitutes that's ridiculous uh although ours are the best in the world in the best <laughs> best ones in the whole goddamn ours world are the best in the world he, he like seriously spoke to the quality of russian prostitutes before the world is it legal there i don't believe so that but, would be surprising. Hey, he's proud of his country because he leads it. Um, I, I think I would. I think I'd haunt the hotel um, just so I could like pick a room and that'd be my room, you know. And and then I'd I'd be able to maybe get some shining action going on. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think the the movie theater there people aren't there long enough for me. Like I'd want to. I'd want my hauntings to be. Um, like a little subtle at first, and then and then like inch up on them. Like if they were there a couple days, then I'd I'd like fuck with them a little bit until it was, and then build up, build up, build up. Uh, with a movie theater, like like what they're there for a couple hours. You can't you can't do a lot there. But a movie theater also has a staff, and they're there like all the time. I guess, I guess there's also the argument that like you can scare a lot of people all at once. Yeah. Scare like 200 people all at once. Get in that movie and move the movie around. If, uh, like, 80s. Make a scary face. Yeah, make a that face. But, like, I'm thinking, like, an 80s horror film where ghosts were just the most powerful things and they could, like, go into the movie and mess with what's going on in the film. How, how powerful is our haunt? I would say as powerful as you want, Jimmy. Oh, my God. Could you make the zombies in the movie come to life? Yeah. Like at least ghost wise. <laughs> <laughs> That's spooky scary. <laughs> That's pretty spooky scary. What do you what do you choose then, Jim? I'm choosing no hotel. <laughs> well, there's so many people. There's pe- there'd be people all day because I can imagine you get fucking bored in the off hours 
of the movie. Because the movie theater opens up, like, what? Like, noon? Maybe yeah. 11 o'clock a.m.? Maybe. Like, not, not too, yeah. And they're right open, now. depending on the movie theater and the quality of the movie theater, till midnight, till maybe 1 or 2. Yeah. So you get a good 12 hours of whatever. That's, this is rough math. That's Dane's count his fingers. Uh, <laughs> checking my math. Yeah. Uh, and then you're fucking bored, and you can't touch a projector to make a, a movie happen. Also... Uh, you'd get real sick of, of the same watching movies. the same movie just kind of all night, every night. Yeah. Like You could switch movies maybe once per night, but even then... Like, it depends not... how many screens your theater has, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's a multiplex. Yeah. 25 screens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, quite possibly. It's a lot. But they double them up. Of them. And some theaters are splits, too. Sometimes they'll like you know alternate between prints. Whoa. I used to work in a movie theater. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was picking that up. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know where I bet Jimmy where she worked? Where? Disneyland. I that would be uh, why why that'd be cool. Why haunting, would you say that? Haunting Disneyland would be kind of bad. That would be cool. Yeah. They have, that Disneyland. would be fun. They have Can a, I do that? That's my pick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh Disneyland Hotel or Disney Movie Theater? Uh Disneyland With, Hotel. For okay. sure. For sure. <laughs> that's an enormous Done. hotel. That's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you are too? No, I'm already doing that. Yeah, you're jumping on a bandwagon. No, we can hop. It's a one man okay. show. One of you go. Right, I'll do stay. the California Grand. Mm-hmm. It's a right across. Deal. It's we'll the draw California. a line. We'll we'll take some tape and put a line down the middle. And of ectoplasm can, tape. Yeah. We can like look at each other in the in the top floor windows. Because <laughs> I don't. I I'm assuming we cannot leave the hotel. No, grounds. of course not. That's like not how haunting works. Slowly flip you off. <laughs> Just kidding. Like, I wouldn't do that. that. Who's that lady ghost over there? <laughs> I do that. Yeah, but I don't know. You 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 can uh. You can like watch people fucking and murdering and whatever in a hotel. <laughs> whatever you do in a hotel. So many murders know. happen in a hotel. I mean, you'd see them. You would. <laughs> Nude see them. Uh, Brian. I would totally go movie theater. Uh huh. Probably telegraph that a bit. <laughs> um, so here's the thing about movie theaters, right? Um, like they, like at the end of the night, they're one of the most spooky fucking places in the world um, mm-hmm. because like they're mostly deserted. Um, you've got stragglers just kind of like in various different movie theaters. Um, there's an air of the theatrical about a movie theater by, you know, nature of the fact that it is a entertainment by association. Venue. Yeah. Just because of what you're showing. Um, a good, like, old time movie theater. Like, that, like those kind of buildings have a lot of history to them mm-hmm. uh, that has their own, carries its own sort of weight. Um, and yeah, there's just like a lot of darkness and it's also a place where like, you know, as Jimmy pointed out, like, you know, you're probably like hours of operation are like 11 AM to about midnight one. The thing about that is there's a lot more activity later than in a hotel. Like come midnight, average person asleep out (laughs) like a light at a movie theater. You still got a lot of people milling around Mm -hmm. possible victims, (laughs) you know, alone in the dark, you know, like, yeah, sounds pretty good. Maybe I creep up on them in their seat. Maybe I do something to the screen. Maybe I'm like, you know, that extra in the background and I just make eye contact with somebody. Right. It's kind of like, like I'm making (laughs) hand gestures that aren't being conveyed in the podcast. Um, but yeah, I would totally do movie theater. I think that that would be the best. You, you do up a movie theater. Good. Yeah. And I'd go after the staff too. Like you're you're a lot more isolated as a staff member. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. At that snack bar during the movie, the motherfucking projectionist up there in the booth alone. Yeah. Get that guy first. Get him. You gotta be get careful him. though, because if you if you haunt too many people, the theater might get closed down. Cause For haunting. Oh, oh yeah, but there's plenty of like stragglers to pick off. Like that one schmuck who wanted to go to like the, the like 12 p.m. matinee of like Finding Dory because like no screaming kids were gonna be there. Well, I just mean yeah. I just mean I'm gonna like get a, that food. Like a permanent <laughs> shutdown of the theater. Yeah, I'm. And, I'm, then, and then you're stuck in an empty room, an empty building for the rest of your life. On what no, grounds would they shut it down? Yeah, nobody believes in hauntings. If you kill people. I wouldn't necessarily... Well, I would not... I would gaslight them to their own demise. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Psychologically. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a cunning ghosty. I would I would know better <laughs> than to, like, overextend myself. A cunning ghosty. Yeah. Well, guys, that was uh, the the whole batch. The we whole cleaned it out. One. Guys, that was, like, one of the more emotionally draining things I've done in a while. Oh, so. well, thank you for joining us, yeah. Tea Kettle, once oh, not again. Not a complaint. Not a complaint. No, of course not. I feel... I feel challenged. I feel... <laughs> I feel good. I feel good. As I hope our viewers are. Yeah. Feeling um, fucking real good. If if you want more silly would-you-rathers, or if you want more emotionally challenging would-you-rathers, send them to us. Yeah. Send them to Do us it. on 
uh, the PJCcast at gmail.com. Send them to us on Facebook where you can like us. Do it. Shock uh, re- us. <laughs> shock and awe us. Yeah. Aw. Shock a Shock a con. And um, review us on on that old uh, iTunes. That'll help our numbers. But uh, Or hurt our numbers. Just tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Oh, Twitter. The PJC, at the PJC cast. That's the one. Yeah, tell everybody about us. Um, we've got some some things cooking up for future episodes that I think everybody will be excited to hear. Yeah, dude. Um, it's been nice having the tea kettle here, and I think we're going to see the tea kettle again. Uh, so... To finish the fight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name's been Dane. Mine continues to be Brian. I'm always Jimmy. Still a tea kettle. <laughs> and you all have a good night. And get home soon. Boston makes me feel good. <laughs> Boo. And if you're if you're driving home to to, to Anaheim Disneyland, oh. be careful. Be careful over that grapevine. It's a, it'll fuck your car. It'll right get you. It's not a magical place. Not like the Magical Kingdom. Uh, be sure to stop by the Haunted Mansion. Oh. Where things aren't always what they seem. Pick up a hitchhiking ghost. Fucking come on. There may be hitchhikers in your car. Ask grass or ecto gas. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody rides for fleas. Oh, I'm sure. Flee, like run away. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> Nobody rides for fear. No, 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 no bad jokes in the afterworld. Oh, no, it's a safe space. All winners. All winners. All winners. <laughs>